Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic join, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and join, subqueries and advanced topics like common table expressions and window functions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called find the quiet students in all exams and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 48th video of this series called find the quiet students in all exams and the difficulty level of this question is heart let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called student with two different columns student id and student name student id is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table student name is the name of the student we are also given a second table called exam with three different columns exam id student id score the combined columns exam id and student id is the primary key that is combination of columns with unique values for this table each row of this table indicates that the student with student id has a score points in the exam with exam id a quiet student is one who took at least one exam and did not score the highest or the lowest. We are asked to write a solution to report the students, that is student ID and name, being quiet in all exams. Do not return the student who has never taken any exam. Return the result table ordered by student ID. Okay, let's go through the examples and try to understand what this question is asking us. So here we have multiple records in the students table as well as the exam table. So if we look at, so out of these five different students, student ID 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, which student has at least taken one exam and has never scored a highest or a lowest in any of the exam. So if we look at student ID 1, so student ID 1 in exam ID 10 has scored the minimum marks and student ID 2 has medium and then st student ID 3 highest marks. So just by looking at one exam, we can eliminate that Okay, student ID 1 and 3 can be eliminated from here. Again, for exam ID 2, for student ID 1, it is maximum as well as minimum. For exam ID 30, 1 has the minimum, 4 has the highest and 3 is already eliminated. Why? Because 3 has scored the maximum marks in exam ID 10. So until now, 1, 3 and 4 has been eliminated. For exam ID 40, 1 has scored the minimum. So already eliminated, 4 maximum already eliminated. So 2. 2 is someone who has at least taken one examination and in none of the exams, the person has scored highest or the lowest mark. Student ID 5, Will, has never taken any exam. So the only person that could be in our output is student ID 2, which is Jade. And that is what we have in our output. So to solve this question, what we can do is we can try to find out that, okay, for every exam ID, what is the maximum score and minimum score? And then we can stay save this in a common table expression. And then based on that, try to find out which all students have at least one scored minimum or maximum. And then using that table, we can try to filter the student table. But let's go step by step. So the first thing that we should do is let's add two different columns, maximum and minimum scores for every exam ID. How can we do that from this table called Right, so from this table called exam, what we are doing is let's keep all the three columns and try to make another column. So let's firstly get the maximum value of scores in each exam ID. So maximum of score over partition by, so partition by the exam ID, right? And let's alias this as maximum score and then similarly get the minimum score so minimum of score over partition by the exam id and let's alias this as minimum score okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so here if we look at our output so this is what we have so for every exam ID, what is the maximum score? So maximum score for exam ID 10 is 90 and minimum score is 70. So once we have this, then what we can do is let's save this in a common table expression. Let's call that common table expression with min max s and then this entire thing goes into parentheses, right? So this entire thing goes into parentheses. And then what we can do is from this min max, now here once you have the maximum score and the minimum score then what you can do is from this min max common table expression wherever your score is equal to the minimum value or your score is the equal to maximum value then for them we can find out the different student ids because in our output we do not need such students who have 
scored minimum or maximum scores even once so we need to find out that student ids right so what we can do is from this table or from this common table expression min max we are going to keep those rows where either your score is equal to the maximum value or your score is equal to the minimum value so in those cases return the student ids or let me just let, right now for do select star let's keep who all students are and what their scores are so if we look at our output so this is what we have so uh, let me just drag it above so here we have student id 1 3 and 4 just as we described right while we were discussing this question that yes student id 1 3 and 4 at least once have scored either the minimum part right so here student id 1 has scored minimum in some cases they have scored maximum as well so these are the three students one three and four that have scored minimum or maximum at least once and they should not be included in our output right because those are not a quiet student according to the definition of the question okay so from here we can get that right so what we can do is let's save this also into another common table expression as students who scored minimax so how can we write change common table expression i have explained this in my previous video so here you can simply go ahead and write the new name of the second common table expression so let's say scored min max and let's alias this as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right and then what we can do is so we are only required to keep the student id Read distinct student id is going to be the list of all the students who have either scored minimum or maximum value then what we can do is now using these things that we just created what we can do is we can filter the student table so from the student table we are only going to keep those students where student id is in right so student id is in firstly the student should have taken the exam at least once so if the student has taken the exam at least once the student id should be appearing in the exam table so return distinct student id from student id from the exam table so that is going to eliminate rows like or students like will who have never taken an exam and we also need to make sure the student is a quiet student so and student id is not in the list of students who have at least scored minimum or maximum value once so return student id from the scored minimum or maximum student list right for them what we can do is we can go ahead and return both the columns because we need both of them in the output and they should also be ordered by student id so if i go ahead and do order by student id okay i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this to pass all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it so somewhat tricky question plus it is a hard difficulty question as well but what we did was firstly we used the exam table to create the minimum and maximum values of every exam id so that we can try to find out who all students have scored at least minimum or maximum in any of the exam even once we got the list of those students and then what we did was we used the student table and filtered only those rows where either the student id appeared in the exam table so they have taken the examination and they have never scored minimum or maximum so we made sure both of those conditions are true using the where clause and then we return both the student id and student name ordered by the student id so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video